Hey, how's it going you Toxic Totodiles? Today I've got quite the interesting deck for you guys here. This is uh, a Buzzwolf Feramosa GX Shaman deck that I have been working on for quite a while now, putting quite a bit of time into this one. And uh, this is my current take on the deck. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. So we got four Buzzwolf Feramosa, our main attacker, the guy we want to start with. we got four Shaman to heal our Buzzwolf Feramosa with the Floral Heal. Floral heals, um, and the reason this guy's so good right now is because people aren't playing ways to really gust it up, and we can kind of just sit there forever and heal our uh, Buzzmosa. Uh, we got uh, five grass energy, two weakness card energy to give us a chance against fire decks. It's actually been working out pretty well. I've actually been able to beat quite a few different fire decks because of the weakness card energy. I have one unit and one beast. Um, we, the reason we play the one unit is because sometimes we don't want to find beast or weakness card, but we still want to find a grass energy, and we can do that with the Guzma and Hala. Uh, also, just another gut target off Guzman Hala doesn't hurt. Um, that can allow us to uh, jet punch. Uh, we got a bunch of different tool cards here. The only one I have yet to really use is the Beast Bringer, but I'm keeping it around because I think there's definitely potential for it. Uh, but yeah, we got a Beast Bringer. We got a Beast Type when we got to hit for more damage. We got the Choice Helmet for when we need to be tankier. We got this so we can use three Buzzmosas and then stamp them to one. And then we got a U turn board that so we can pivot with Mallow and Lana. And also, if we open Shaman, we can turn one. Use a tag call for Guzma and Hala and the Buzzmosa, and then use the Guzma and Hala for a special energy, the U-turn board, and um, a power plant. Um, yeah, that is our stadium of choice, is four power plants. Uh, we also have a Carton Void to help us with the Keldeos as well, and then of course we have a Life Forest. So after we go through all of our opponent's stadiums, we can sit there and heal 60 every single turn, which is a lot. Two Mellow and Lana for some extra healing there. Our main draw supporter is the Cynthia and Caitlyn. We are a tag call engine deck with four of those. And then I have two Coach Trainer and two Bills Analysis to give us a little bit of extra draw support. These games do take quite a while with this deck um, because we do play so much healing and we slow down the game so much. Um, so we do play, we do go through a lot of draw supporters. Um, yeah, having the option of coach trainering or bills analysis, they're both good in their own right. Coach trainer is definitely the best, just neutral draw supporter that we play. But sometimes we need to dig a little bit deeper for specific items like B strings or reset stamps, which we do play three of each of those because we don't play. It's not a greens deck, so we can't just kind of find them out of our deck. So we do have to play heavier counts of them with the three B string, with the three reset stamp. Play four netball because it finds all of our basic Pokemon. Uh, the big thing is it finds the shaman, which is the hardest bugger to find. Uh, he's hard. He's very difficult to find sometimes. So we have the four netball finds them finds the buzzmosas It also finds our grass energy So it really finds everything we need to get going early on in the game and throughout the whole game in general We got one lot of fishing rod if the KO one shaman or we need to get it back a buzzmosa we can or if we want to reuse one of our uh, Trainer cards, you know, we need a second choice helmet second beast type uh, probably never need a second amulet But who knows four great potions for some more healing and then I only play one great catcher Give us a little bit help to close out games sometimes with the great catcher and that's the list Let's go ahead and get into some games Opening with the absolute ideal start here in the form of coach trainer as our first draw supporter And we got a power plant and we got an energy Yeah, coach trainer uh, by far our, our uh, best opening supporter in this deck um just draws four raw, raw cards we could use just get stuff i'm going to throw a power plan out there um and then go ahead and pass over to our opponent not a super ridiculously aggressive start i guess but uh got some options for the next turn for sure no idea what we're up against here if i had to guess i would say pika rob just based on the sleeves and deck box um there's a tag call i'm gonna go ahead and assume it is tag call pika rob uh, which means they're not going to be attacking us on this first turn. The deck actually doesn't really play any way to be super aggressive. I don't think. Um, I guess we'll find out here in just a second after they use this tag call for sure. Yeah, there's the Pika Rob. I'm pretty sure they just can't turn one full blitz. Or they can, but it's like super unlikely for it to happen. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure them turn one full blitzing is super unlikely. Um, so I don't expect to get turn one full blitz here. We might. I mean, you never know. But I don't think it's going to happen. Um, so we're just gonna be able to sit here and jet punch for a little bit Probably just go ahead and throw the beast energy here and then just look for a bunch of healing to utilize on this guy on the next coming turns Use the coach trainer draw a bunch of cards again like we did last turn and then look to just kind of knock this thing out on the following turn with the elegant soul So there's a shaman that's super cool to see Draw those guys and go ahead and attach here bench shaman Don't need to really play anything else. They do have an eight card hand so I could rest reset stamp it a little bit lower I could go ahead and play a tag call, which I think I am going to play, and go ahead and get myself um, another one of these guys for sure, and then a Guzman Hala, I think. 
can go ahead and throw down this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and throw out a reset stamp. I could just save him for the later game. I could go ahead and beast game here as well. Uh, get the two prize cards, but then I kind of want to set up for the beast bringer to knock this guy out. Ooh, so this is like a interesting situation. I could beast game, knock this out, or I could just go with the jet punch. I think I'm just gonna go with the jet punch here. Jet punch. Yeah, jet punch. There we go. Boom, boom. Yeah. 60 here. Now this guy can just get cleaned up by a jet punch if I want to later on. Um, yeah, now I expect to get full blitz. I don't think they ever whiff the turn two full blitz. They can easily just go, uh, I forget what it's called, but, uh, <laughs> they can pretty easily just go, um, stadium off of Guzma and Hala plus a special energy. Well, there's the stadium plus a skateboard. That yeah, should be no turn two full blitz for this deck should be super easy. And I think that's what we're going to see here. A pretty clean turn two full blitz from our opponent. Uh, yeah, there's a Malolana. Ooh, healing the Jirachi. That's fine with me, though. I think I'm just going to go Beast Bringer and then Elegant Soul and knock this out. I can use Guzma and Hala. I don't even have to use the Beast Bringer if I want to. I could just Elegant Soul, actually. I think I might not Beast Bringer, actually. Um, and I'm going to put a Choice Helmet here instead. Uh, there's the full blitz, but they don't have another Pokemon to attach to, so this is looking super good for us. Feeling pretty good about this one. They're loading him up. Um, but yeah, we do have the Elegant Soul that can just take the knockout. So pretty questionable choice to like just load up this Pikaram here. Um, all right. Cosmo and Hala. Go ahead, get rid of a reset stamp and a Bills Analysis here, I think. I'm still not sure if I don't if I want a Beast Bringer or not. Definitely going to get the Weakness Guard Energy. Definitely going to get the Life Forest. Um, we don't have the Choice Helmet, so I think we are going to Beast Bringer. Then I'm going to take the Island Challenge amulet i believe to make this buzzwool small if i want to um we are gonna throw this out though I, I would rather save it for later but i think our opponent only plays power plants as well so we're not gonna be able to like run them out of stadiums in this scenario and then yeah we're gonna go ahead and beast bringer and elegant soul for the knockout here 220 just enough to clean up this Pikarama with that beast energy we get four prize cards here because we did use the beast bringer and now if we if they ever leave a Jirachi in the active we can just knock it out with our beast game and uh win the game another shaman off the prizes that's super good the shaman is super good super nice to see that another shaman those are always the hardest thing to keep out and always actually just kind of the best card to have in play as aggressively as possible we do play the four netball and we do play four shaman but it can still be pretty hard to get out um, so that was also a, a pretty aggressive start from us, which means us getting reset stamped here would be very good for our opponent and probably leave us in quite uh, quite a rough situation, actually, not going to lie. So I would really prefer it if they don't reset stamp us. They haven't done it yet. Uh, they could definitely have one. So yeah, we don't want to get reset stamped here. We got a really good hand, really good board state. We like to just chill. There's a switch. That's not going to do it. Uh, but they have no threat as well up right now. The Thunder Mountain's gone. They still have their Cocoa Prism. He's pretty cool. Coco Prism's a pretty cool guy, not gonna lie. Um, but they are a ways away from being able to do anything super relevant. They go ahead and, they went ahead and grabbed their Faba back. Probably looking to get rid of our Beast Energy. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this one right now. There's a comp. That can get Coco Prism. That can get the Coco Prism. We'll see if they go ahead and get it here. Oh, it's gonna be a Zapdos. So they can punch us for 70 if they want to, which isn't a whole ton. And unfortunately, we can't GX. Oh my goodness. This is... Uh, a pretty poor follow-up from our opponent this is actually really really i mean i almost want to say sad but i don't want to it's pretty sad it's pretty sad at this point for our opponent they're gonna hit us for 70 we're gonna heal 60 we're gonna heal more damage than they dealt this turn there's one e-power i guess at the very least okay there's two e-power do i see three e-power no not quite so 140 is what they're gonna hit us for not i don't know it's pretty bad i'm not gonna lie got shaman i'm gonna go ahead and build analysis here Netball and Great Potion. Netball, we can get another Shaman into play. Yeah, this one is pretty much wrapped up, but we're gonna go ahead and go through the motions here. Um, you know, if our opponent has something super spicy to close out the game, maybe, or to make himself a comeback potential, you know, we'll see. Um, I don't think it's gonna happen. Here we go, we'll heal again. And this one, and then another floral heal. And you can guys, you guys can see if they don't one shot us, we heal for a truck ton, and a really shut down. 
our opponent's potential to really do anything. Um, I can't beast game. I'm just going to go ahead and I could do 90 with this or 60, 30 with this. I think I like the jet punch a little bit better because it sets up a little bit better for us to use beast game. If the Zapdos makes its way back into the active, beast game for our last two prizes. If Jirachi gets stuck in the active, beast game for two prizes. So uh, getting a little bit of extra damage on the Zapdos, I think it's just better to have it on the Jirachi, have it split to make it easier to use beast game. Especially if they were to go like, I mean, I don't know. I know they have Faba. So that's probably coming for our beast energy. But besides that, I don't even know what else they could possibly have that would keep them in this game. There's a Volkner. See what they grab here. Switch and Lightning. Okay, they can get back into the Jirachi. That's okay. That's a start, I guess, towards what? I don't know. Um, yeah, there is the Stellar Wish. Taking a look here. Grabs themselves a custom. Ooh, they do play custom catchers. So I guess that's kind of annoying. There's the pass. Yeah, and then we have the, like I said, set up the Beast Game. Even if they were to fob with the Beast Energy, we put 30 there, so it has 40 HP left. So Beast Game for 50, he does knock it out, and there's the Beast Game. Our last two prize cards, and we get a dub here over this Pikaram in the first game. All right, getting into another one here. Unfortunately, slow start kind of hand. Now a lot of water energy. A lot of water energy. And a great catcher. What energy do you pick up for us, so... Even with the slow start, I think we'll probably be in a pretty good spot. Whoa, there's a giraffe, though. You'd hate to see it. Ooh, it's ADP. Okay, we can deal with that kind of giraffe. I was like, uh, if it's Pidgey Control, I don't know about that. Pidgey Control sounds kind of tough, but uh, no pigeons here, it looks like. Just a bunch of giraffes and absols, and our shaman is stuck. Oh, now he's free. Um, but using Guzman Hollow really doesn't do anything for us. I'm just going to go ahead and bump the stadium. They did whiff energy turn one, so that is good for us. Going to go ahead and throw both these down and pass over to our opponent because, once again, our hand kind of stinks. Our hand is pretty rough. <laughs> our hand is pretty rough. It's okay, though. A lot of top decks. We play a lot of supporters. Um, I guess what's it called as a draw supporter top deck would not be great. Uh, coach trainer is not great, but anything besides coach trainer, I think we can work with pretty well. So anything besides the coach, and I think we're good to go. Jirachi from our opponent, but they are having a ridiculously slow start as well. Um, this looks like it's going to be a hard retreat. So once again, they're still two turns away from attacking with anything. So we have plenty of time to figure this out. Uh, just need to get the Shaman out of the active into a buzzwool, and we will be a-okay. Just to have that happen. Be chilling. Nothing to worry about. I don't think I'm going to ram next turn, even though I possibly could. Here's a tag call finally from our opponent, but like I said, already attached this turn. Um, so they're still far away from actually being able to do anything. Hopefully we get a tag call or a buzz wool or a net ball or not a weakness card energy. That's not what I'm looking for. Special energy stadium tool card. Don't need any of those right now. So we're just going to go ahead and pass back over to our opponent. Maybe they whiff, uh, what's it called again? Maybe they'll just whiff a, uh, energy. Nope. There it is. There's the attachment. So looking like a GX attack on the next turn from our opponent, most likely, can't imagine they would whiff another time. It is possible, though. There's a pass back to us. Can we finally get something going here? Another energy. Not worth attacking, I don't think. And we're going to pass back to our opponent. All right, once again, though, they only can GX attack, so they can't win this turn, or can't attack us this turn uh, to knock out. They can only go with the Altered Creation. Uh, no... Uh, ultimate ray yet there it is altered creation everything's getting set up there's a caitlin and cynthia all right I'm gonna go ahead and discard this guy draw three we just need a tag call or a net ball or a oh my goodness well at this point i think i'm gonna ram for 30 and hope for the best we could reset stamp our opponent they have an eight card hand maybe they just don't have it ram for 30 uh, this looks like it's going to be an unfortunate loss here. Many draws, many outs to find a potential, what's it called, and a whole lot of whiffs. So there goes our only Shaman in play, and we're going to lose here to the ADP, which I think is generally a pretty good matchup. But sometimes you whiff all your Buzzmosa and all your outs to Buzzmosa, and then that happens. All right, I think we're about to get our redemption here up against uh, an ADP. Hopefully this time it goes a little bit better and we are not completely locked out of the game early on. There's a Manaphy, ooh, or a Fion. 
Fion is actually super annoying for us to deal with because it um, forces up a Shaman. We have to make sure we have two Buzzmosa in play at uh, at pretty much all times now. Um, or we can just knock out this Fion right now. There's an energy spinner from our opponent, so I think this is probably... I mean, it could be Green's... If I had to guess, this is now Green's ADP. But I guess I could be wrong. There's an escape port. Oh, they'll get to save the Fion on turn one here, unfortunately for us. Yeah, I much would have preferred this Fion. It's stuck in the active. But, uh, oh well, I guess the Fion is going to head up on the bench here. Probably, if they do leave it in the active, we are definitely... Oh, let's go. Fion staying in the active. That's what I like to see. Go ahead. Let's check for this. And the Beast Energy are there. That's great. We're going to get Osmosa, Osma and Hala. And then we're going to use another tag call. I think we're just going to get double Buzzmosa here because we need to Guzman Hall away one Buzzmosa and a, probably the Bill's Analysis, actually. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of these two. Bill's Analysis and Buzzmosa. Going to get ourselves a Stadium. Uh, skateboard, East Energy. Do -do. Uh, we definitely want to be aggressive about replacing Stadiums in this matchup. We can eventually get our Life Force to stick or keep a Power Plant in play. Deal with the what's it called? It's eluding me right now, but I'll think of it eventually. Keldeo. There's the jet punch. We get the kill on the Fion, which is super cool. Getting that knockout. There's the life force already, so that's looking good too. We have a netball for a third shaman. Um, getting the fourth shaman is going to be the next goal. Uh, ideally, we want to draw into one of the shamans, so then this can get the last shaman. I actually didn't even check how many shamans were primes, but the shamans are super cool. And we definitely want access to them at all times. So hopefully we top deck like a dead card here to kind of discard with the Caitlyn and Cynthia. And we'll probably get back the Bills analysis because I don't think I want to use Guzman and Hala. Well, Guzman and Hala is kind of cool to get us... Um, they can get us another Stadium. We already have the Life Force in hand, so I don't need to be too aggressive with the Stadium. It gets us an Energy. Eh. Let's see, Caitlyn and Cynthia. I could have actually not benched this this turn so they couldn't Great Catcher us. But there's the Great Catcher, so that's kind of unfortunate. Maybe should have played that a little bit differently, I guess. Maybe. Yep, there's the altered creation. And over to us, there's the Caitlyn and Cynthia. So I think I am getting rid of this beast site here. Because um, I would prefer to get. Uh, yeah, Bill's analysis seems pretty good. And then we want to draw into a shaman. We don't want to get rid of a shaman. This is going to be pretty good as well. We'll probably amulet this guy uh, on our next turn. Go ahead and attach a jet punch. 30 30. Yeah, we're probably going to go ahead and put the amulet on our dude. Next turn, they're going to go ahead and hit us for 180. We'll heal it down to 140, then put the amulet on it. Um, I mean, unless we really want to beast ring next turn, which we could also do just by, like, letting it get knocked out, I guess. But that doesn't sound too optimal. I'm probably not going to let that happen. I do want choice helmet for this guy. If we're going to be going up against two ADPs, I do want a choice helmet in play, I think, for sure. Uh, there's a chaotic swell. Once again, bumping that with our power plant. Okay, they play Sil Valley. They've already GX attacked. I was about to be like, whoa, I was about to panic a little bit there. I was like, oh no. Uh, but no, it should be fine. Oh, it's a Lucario Melmetal, actually. I didn't even see what this was on the bench. I just assumed it was an ADP, but it's actually a Lucario Melmetal. But that is also fine with me. We can knock that, knock out that at some point as well. And it looks like they are setting that big guy up. So it's gonna be knock out this guy, knock out this guy, I think is going to be our game plan. Um, eventually. What we draw here. Allo and Lana. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. But I don't think I need to use it on this one. I think I am just going to go with the... Uh, Bills Analysis. We're going to get ourselves... Netball and Tag Call. Netball and Tag Call. Use a Netball here. Grab Shaman. Another Netball. Shaman. Oh, I should have saved that, actually, the other netball. That's right, we're going to heal a lot here. Always okay, as long as you're healing. Yeah, because I maybe want to get another basic grass on the following turn, so I should have actually held off on that. Another Shaman. Then we do want to put the amulet here, because if they draw four prizes, they could double custom catcher KO uh, Shaman. It also means we wouldn't have access to uh, Beast Ring next turn if we let them draw four prizes. So we want them to only draw three prizes. I'm going to put the amulet there bump the stadium and then we will jet punch once again hitting the lucario melmetal that's going to be our second target we're going to try and get through this big guy and then 
clean up the Lucario Elemental to win the game on the following turn. Yep, that's the game plan. Um, yeah, I should have held off on that second netball for the fourth Shaven, though, and saved it to potentially get a basic grass on the following turn, actually, instead of doing it like this, this turn. So that was definitely a mistake on my part. Should have definitely done it the other way, but I think we'll be fine. I'm not too worried about it uh, being that big of a detriment to uh, our game plan here. I think we'll still be able to win this one. Like I said, going in, Elegant Soul, this guy. Um, maybe going to actually go for the... Uh, Guzma and Hala. I actually think I am probably going to go with the Guzma and Hala if it's in the deck. Hopefully it's in the deck. So tag call for Guzma and Hala plus something to discard. Discard our top deck. And then we will be able to knock this guy out. Um, because we'll be able to get... It. I want to get Choice Helmet, Special Energy, probably the Weakness Guard Energy because Weakness Guard Energy is the worst energy. And then uh, Power Plant to potentially bump another Chaotic Swell. But they're already down two Swell. They probably have one Swell left. I would definitely like to see them play out their last swell before I put my life force in play. But if I ever need my life force, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in play. Not that big of a deal. Um, there is their Silvalli. Looks like they're going to grab him some energy as well as they're taking their time here. But yeah, that's the game plan. Knock out this guy with Elegant Soul and then look to knock out this guy. I guess we could also look to knock out this guy with Elegant Soul as well at some point. So this knocking out this guy would also be fine. Elegant Soul only is currently doing 220, so it actually wouldn't be too difficult if we if we can eventually find our Great Catcher. Finding our Great Catcher, I think, is going to be the uh, the hardest part of that uh, situation, though. Finding the Great Catcher sounds like it's going to be the most difficult part. We only play the one. We don't really have any way to find it besides drawing into it. Bill's analysis can sometimes reach for it, but not consistently. So, yeah. So hopefully, next turn we're looking at... Uh, and yeah, there's the ultimate ready to knock us out. They are going to get three prize cards here off him. So we're not going to be able to use the three Buzzmosa, even though we have the amulet. Uh, still just going to have to settle for the two Buzzmosa overall here. All right, there we go. Get themselves the energy. But this does mean if they do play Custom Catchers, they'll need all four Custom Catchers to knock out the champions. I think because they have this guy in here, they probably don't play the Custom Catchers. I don't know where they're finding the room for all this stuff and Custom Catcher. So I don't think they play Custom Catcher. So I'm not really worried about Custom Catcher right now they could play it i don't think it exists i guess we'll find out eventually all right this guy goes up like i said we're hoping oh there's a beast ring so that would get us energy but i think the guzman hollow would be better if it was in here but it is not so i think i'm just gonna go caitlin and cynthia and osmosa this is still gonna work out fine we're gonna go beast ring or i could just get both but we could look to set up another Buzzmosa eventually through what's it called but i think i will just get both to go ahead and get him out of the deck and then caitlin and cynthia we're going to discard the buzzmosa i think i will grab the guzma and hala on this time draw three cards i'm um, gonna go ahead and hold the power plant there's the great catcher already so we're actually lined up to win the game on the next turn and i am just going to elegant soul for the knockout no choice helmet unfortunately but hopefully it's not gonna be that big of a deal got the knockout if they don't reset stamp us here we actually do win the game i expect we'll probably get reset stamp here this is why it would have been nice to really nice to have the choice helmet though um to uh prevent that extra damage that we would take we do have the four shaman but we need a little bit more than that for sure as far as healing goes to stay alive over these next couple turns if they do reset stamp us. if they reset stamp us it's gonna get pretty uh pretty close the brave buddies would hit us for what for 150 they have the mallow and lana Keep the Mallow and Lana, or even if they reset Stampus, if we just get the Mallow and Lana or a tag call, we have two Mallow and Lanas, two tag calls left. Um, going to be in a pretty big, pretty good spot here, I think, for sure. Um, yeah, kind of sucked to get rid of that last Buzzmosa, but um, it would have been nice to potentially like, set them up just in case so that we could like hard retreat this one, reset stamp them low, hope they with Great Catcher. They are down one of their Great Catcher. They probably play two. Whoa, okay, they do play Customs. All right, so now they can chase back to back shamans but i don't know if they just realized they reset our elegant soul so this guy can't be in the active at the end of their turn but i don't know if they realize that we'll see here if they realize that oh skateboard to the jirachi no no support has been played yet either so this guy isn't even his, his brave buddies isn't even knocking this out oh no it is it's 70 plus 50 oh it's gonna be doing 80 the brave buddies does knock this out but i don't think he realizes that he just reset our elegant soul and we're currently hitting for 220 and there's Brave Buddies. So the game is just over. A little anticlimactic there with our opponent's mistake here at the end. They do somehow also fit Custom Catchers in their list. So uh, that would have been a little scary, not going to lie. 
having this many shaman to play. And there's the concession. I think they just realized what happened. And yeah, they could have hit us with the Lucario. They could have just like not hit us that turn, I guess. I guess the Drampa wasn't set up. I was going to say they could have hit us with Drampa, but Drampa actually wasn't set up. And yeah, get a redemption over a very interesting ADP build there in the end. And that's going to do it for this video on the Buzzmosa deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.